welcome back to my channel. For today's video, you're going to see me going to my first ever baseball game, my first Jays game. I'm very excited, but currently it's still in Scotland. We have a whole ocean to travel across first. So join me, Toronto vlog. If you haven't seen my other Toronto vlogs, I will link them somewhere up here. Um, watch them after you've watched this one. That was my first Leafs game. This is my first Jays games. This is multiple because I've multiple to go to. And I'm very excited to go see Toronto in the sunshine because it was minus three the last time I was there. So time to finish packing up my stuff and let's go. I thought that we had something special. I thought I handled this so well. I know we had the right intentions, but somehow it came to an end. I was looking for a remedy. Now I better who's in front of me. I was looking for a remedy. Now I better who's in front of me. Yeah. Push it back, hold you close, start a fight, there you go. I mean, I knew it was gonna be hotter than where I came from, but I didn't think it was gonna be this hot. Unbearable. And we had planned to stand in line for the Bo Bichette jersey. I'm going to the game, but I was not standing in the queue waiting for that jersey. There was not a chance. But I'm here, we have an Airbnb in a very nice part of Toronto. I get unstable. I get unstable. Push you back, I hold you close Push you back, hold you close Start a fight, there you go I get unstable, I get unstable In my bed, all alone Never know when you're home I get unstable, I get unstable Push you back, hold you close Start a fight, there you go So I'm slightly obsessed with baseball. I mean, I was already obsessed with baseball, but I'm obsessed with baseball games because that was so much fun. The crowd at Jay's games is just, the vibes are just immaculate and I love it. And now time to head to game two. So it's a matinee game, final of the series against the Brewers. So let's see who's going to take it. And we've got very nice seats again. So let's go. As things go back to grey I fall, I fall, I fall, I fall from grace Imaginary, unattainable Okay, so a little bit of updates because there was a lot of sort of baseball and Toronto footage there and I, oh my god, I love baseball so much. I. I loved it already watching on TV, but it is a whole different ball game actually being there. The atmosphere, the vibes were just perfect. I got to go to two already, so I went to the one on Wednesday that was at night and the one on Thursday that was the matinee game, both against Milwaukee and they won the Thursday one, lost the Wednesday one, but so much fun. 
really enjoyed it. The ball pack's so much bigger than I expected it to be. Like, it's just so much bigger than I thought it would be. Um, but I just love it. I love it. There's so many people. It's a really lively crowd. And I don't know, I just, I felt like I just was at home. Like, I felt like I was just in a happy place. I loved it. And I'm still here for another while, so I definitely need to go back to at least another one. Maybe two. <laughs> we had really nice seats. Um, but you know what, I could sit anywhere in there and I'd be really happy. Ball's also so much faster in person than it is on TV. It definitely looks like the perspectives are all different on TV. And don't get me wrong, when I go back to Scotland, I will still be watching religiously on TV, but it's so nice to have had the in-person experience now and see it for real. I still love the city as much. It's so warm. I didn't think it would be this hot and I'm definitely not built for like 30 degree heat and humidity because I live in Scotland and I live right on the coast as well. I live very, I live right on the water, right at the sea. So I'm used to sort of like cool breeze, even when it's warm. I was not, I was not expecting this level of heat, but it's very nice. I've got to wear lots of nice outfits. The baseball was just incredible in the sun. The city looks beautiful in the sun. There's so much to do. There's so much I still want to do. And if, drop me below recommendations. Is there anything in the city that I need to see before I go while it's the summertime? Because obviously this is the only time in the summer I'll be here. I'll be back, but it'll be colder by then probably. So I also, I didn't vlog it because I was just enjoying it honestly, but I got a tour of the Sportsnet studios and the City News studios. It was insane, so thank you uh, Jeff who got me a tour around that. I'll pop up the photos over here, got to go around and see all the behind the scenes of Sportsnet, which Sportsnet is definitely the stream that I've seen the most over the years, like it just, I don't know what it is, maybe it's the geographical stuff, but it's it's always like Sportsnet generally that like I get. So it was so cool to see behind the scenes, I just... I, I'm so lucky to get the opportunities that I have and I'm so grateful for the, the people that made it happen and I had a couple of people come and say hi to me at the Jays game like oh you're Victoria like so thank you if anyone wants to hang out at a Jays game I'll be there sometime next week. So I'm going to end this vlog as like my first baseball games type thing but I'm here longer and I think I'll just make another like sort of Canada vlog one that's not about my first baseball games so thank you so much for watching guys those were my first mlb games and they were 100 out of 10 so i'll be back soon with more sports chats from across the pond bye guys